A hundred? Wall breakers? He's using the wall breakers as distraction. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a lot of wall breakers. What a match we have here in the Golden Heart Show match. And Gaku is going in first. We got some of the best players in the world. And Gaku has got 80 archers and 80 barbarians. And Gaku had about eight minutes to plan this attack. So they didn't have any extra time to plan this here. What can Gaku do as the Yeti's going straight for the queen? Does not pull out the full clan castle here. And the queen stays alive. Only pulls out one archer. There's probably a bunch of ice golems in here. The goal of that blimp was to do three things. One, it was to take out this entire compartment that was right here. Two... It was to pull the full clan castle, and then three, while it takes out this compartment, it sets the funnel for the queen to make her way towards this town hall. But he didn't achieve one of the objectives, which is the full CC, but it's okay. The three ice golems is not going to be too big of a deal. He'll be able to poison through them and work through that. As it's going to come down to really the value he can get with his king, which is a level 20 three gauntlet as this queen is going to continue her way slowly towards this town hall raw champion is down and wow he's not even touched the abilities of the rc only level 15 as that one's got the rage gem all maxed out moving his way right on through a couple headhunters coming across the board as this queen is continuing her way through i mean it's really just a hero charge attack who needs barbarians who needs archers to be honest as this queen is slowly continuing her way towards this town hall. And this RC needs to clear this core of the base. Freezing up the ground expo. The RC no longer has the spear fox. Our ability is forced here. The grand warden is doing a lot of damage. And the multi is hitting these healers. As he pops that queen ability to help take out the town hall. He's got the barbarians. He's got the archers running around taking out the defensive king. So they're actually being very useful here, providing the distraction. And it's up to Gaku's queen to continue around. And because of these barbarians and archers, this Milev doesn't know what to do. These point defenses of the Teslas and cannons does not take them down. He takes out all these buildings. King comes back to life and the Phoenix pulls all the red air bombs, protecting these healers and he can swag the rage. Swag two freezes as well. He drops it anyways to help get through this section. And GG, Gaku starting off with a three star, taking out Dark Star's base with more or less a queen charge into anything. Queen charge or queen charge and then Sui Heroes, more like Warding King, into whatever you want after that. GG Gaku, one attack. P. Castro kicking this one off here. And Selenio going in with that Town Hall all the way in the core. Queen's up at the top side, and we're got, we have super bowlers here for P. Castro. And we know that P. Castro is maxed 27 gauntlet. Maxed healer puppets maxed healing tome and maxed rc equipment peak astro rocking all that out as this queen's going to continue her way up toward the top side into this monolith slowly but surely does drop that rage on the outside but the queen cannot reach that multi archer tower the reason why well he does have the wall there oh pops the ability which healers get spawned in front of this queen and getting picked off immediately so was it worth it as this multi arch tower is doing so much damage, as this queen continues to make her way towards the monolith as a ward is placed on the far outside with the unicorn that gets healed back up. Does not pull the warden in. Might. Yep, there he goes. The warden finally joins in, taking out the monolith slowly. Ground skeletons pop out in front. We have a battle drill come to the far right side, which opens a wall out there. Does he have a jump? No, he's going to wall break his way into the core. Out comes Ice Golems, freezing up this area as he continues his way through, popping that Warren ability. The Healing Tome goes off, healing these troops up, back to full health here as the Battle Drill is also under the Warden Eternal Tome. As he continues his way around, the Queen needs to continue her way 
Could potentially pop her ability. No, he makes her invisible. Keeps the ability. No, actually, he's already popped the queen ability way early. What I'm talking about. I forgot. When he popped the queen ability, he had the healers. The healer puppets. So he doesn't have it to protect the queen. Pops that king ability with the giant gauntlet. Out. Dude. Crushing not only the multi, but the building behind the multi, which is behind a wall. How is that even fair? With a freeze to use. The RC's making her way through this bottom side, freezing up the defensive king. Headhunter's coming in. Dropping a giant to try to provide the distraction, protecting the royal champ because he went with that. Spear Fox on the king and the diggy on the RC to help stun this ground expo as she continues her way around. Dropping a wall break to provide that distraction and P. Castro is going to be taking down Selenio's base. GG with archers, wizards coming around and putting up a anti to a base like this. One is like really difficult to be creative. So, I mean, someone had to hit this base anyway. So this is the base that was put up. And P. Castro came in with a regular attack. There's no requirement. I don't think so to be coming with crazy attacks. But either way, it's a show match. Try and have some fun. And P. Castro delivers with the triple klaus attacking second tier my friends a uh, hundred wall breakers klaus klaus no. no 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 don't do it don't do it i swear what do you have for your abilities no giant arrow you got a 12 rage gem there's the lightning taken out an eagle artillery, a multi-arch tower. Oh, but he doesn't get the other one because of the builder. The builder prevents him from getting that multi-arch tower, so it stays up. A hundred wall breakers. I mean, he's got test wall breakers to see where they go. I'm just saying, you know, this is Klaus at the end of the day. You can't put anything past this man. This multi arch attack uh, staying up. Is that going to cost him this attack? And he's only got 11 sneakies left. That's it. Oh my gosh. Look at all the wall breakers. They're everywhere. Bust in these walls. You need. Hey, you, you need to. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, you need to save some so you, it looks like you can get your sneakies into the town hall. <laughs> oh my. There goes the king. He's going to have to deal with the clan castle. The Milev is there. The Flame Flinger is going to continue his way to the left side. Wait, that Flame Flinger can actually make its way all the way through the left side other than those mortars over there. So here comes a lot of wall breakers. He's dropping test wall breaker or more like wall breakers to, to just protect. I mean, he's still got 73 more wall breakers. <laughs> Drops a sneaky for the town hall to help activate it. Well, actually, you don't need to activate. You, you target it anyways to test for traps. Drops the Apprentice Warden for this queen. The ability is forced. There's the Sneakies out of the Town Hall. Defensive Rage goes off. Oh, the Apprentice Warden's moving in. The King's going to the left side, but the Multi-Archer Tower is now hitting this King and the Warden. The Town Hall does not go down to the Sneakies. He drops a bunch of Wall Breakers to try to distract it. He sends the RC into the Town Hall. Oh, rip. The RC's going to have to now hit the Town Hall Poison as she dies off. Bowlers Yeti come out. Oh. 49 more wall breakers to use. I mean, Lexnos is like, Klaus, you better not triple my base with 100 wall breakers. He tried this. Oh my gosh, look at all these wall breakers from Klaus. Holy. Well, I guess they're just going to go for the closest wall pieces. These are a little too far for them. Oh my goodness. Well, Klaus with only the 59, 60%. Oh, imagine. Imagine this work. But if there's anyone that could definitely pull it off, it's this man here. Well, this shows you how difficult it is to triple with 100 wall breakers. So that's the challenge. Can you three star with 100 wall breakers and be better than Klaus? Prove it. Let's see your hero abilities. All right. Nothing too crazy. He's going with a Skelly Donut to help remove the Monolith and the Clank Castle. It's been a bit since I've seen a Skelly Donut, to be honest. Because nowadays, you could just, like, power through the CC. 
with especially that giant king gauntlet as so we're gonna see a balloons come on in with that warden protecting the blimp so we don't have a clone but we have some invisibility so he can go with a blizzard and that's exactly what he's gonna go with super wizards to help completely gut the core here to hopefully go in no uh oh uh oh he wants them to go for that multi arch oh they are not only one of them does but it doesn't even get it he wanted them to go for the multi arch tower they don't really step up there warden is getting pushed back by the sweepers and the poison spell stays up in the core of the space as the queen is gonna make her way around towards the ground expo towards the enemy queen as we got barbarians we got archers ice golems leading out in front a lot of the barbarians and archers are to the top side king is taking on the top side defensive king to go in towards this town hall making the queen invisible having the unicorn healer up the ice golem needs to get out in front of this queen to help protect we got a wall break the single target inferno has locked down the king so he's going to use the king giant gauntlet to absolutely crush through that single target inferno no problem as he continues his way around rate oh no i thought he dropped a rage never mind as the queen can burn her ability to eventually make her way and reach that other multi archer tower the wizard tower is going down and now with a tassel farm to the bottom side he's still got the royal champ scattershot multi archer tower here with a handful of barch to utilize as he's taking his time with a minute left in this attack king comes back to life with that phoenix queen's already burned her ability so this multi arch tower is going to crush through the queen poison gets launched now he uses a free spell this might not be enough here hang on the super wizards never got those multi arch towers which at the end of the day would have helped keep the queen alive could have been a huge difference here in this attack and he's gonna fall short does have the diggy phoenix pulls some traps diggy does not stun the ground expo in time and he had to fight through some other defenses either way on the backside. and rikirez is gonna fall short here against gaku very nice try rikirez trying to get a little bit more but he won't be able to with those tesla still remaining and he's gonna get about an 88 Yep, an 88% two star. 50, 50, 30 with some invis. Okay, it looks like a skelly donut. Gonna look to remove the clan castle and something else. What does he want to take on? Monolith? Two golems. We've got some archers around the corners here. What else does he want to do? Yep, there it is. So he's going for... Ah, he's going for three different things. He's going for the clan castle, the ground expo, the monolith. But can he also get the multi when they go off of the expo to the multi-target inferno? Wait, 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 wait. He's got what, another invis. Yes! No! I jinxed it! No! The last possible invis he drops messes it up. Okay, well, we got the queen to the left side. She's going to make her way to the eagle. That one ground expo is gone, but this one expo is still there. He's got the flame flinger that is at the top side of the base. Queen is removing the eagle artillery. The ground expo is locking onto the queen, doing quite a bit of damage. Going to force this queen ability, unfortunately. Rip to the queen ability. She's going to make her way to the left, but no CC to worry about. But... No queen ability is going to be a problem. As he drops an ice golem, headhunter should try to take out the enemy queen. Does he take her down? Yes. Down she goes. His queen looks like she's going to die to the... Yep. Wait, what? Oh, no. He keeps her alive. What? He deploys the king, the golem, but the warden and the invis keeps that queen going. And that queen is... Tr what? There's no way this queen's still alive. How is Ryuta keeping the queen alive? There is no shot he's able to do that. This queen is getting healed up now by the unicorn. And this warden rage gem is helping the unicorn possibly heal that queen up even more. As the king ability goes off. And unfortunately it is the king warden bug making him invincible. Not taking any damage as he sends that raw champion into the multi-target inferno. This queen's continuing her way up around this base, and she is still alive. She should now die to this town hall poison, which that wears off. It, does Ryuta have the 
most invincible queen in the history of Clash of Clans. He's got barbarians and archers coming around. If this queen, okay, I was gonna, I was gonna say, if this queen never died, I would have been in complete shock. But this RSC lost her spirit fox. And this is a problem. There's a lot left on this backside. The RC is going down. She does kill off the defensive rage on the backside. But he's only got barbarians and archers behind a golem. As the wall breaks are trying to make their way through. They get hit by the ricochet cannon. So they die before making it and opening up that wall. Headhunters kill the RC with ease. But there is just way too much left on this backside. And Ryuta definitely did not want to pop that queen ability early like that. Very nice try, Ryuta. Dark Star is up, and Dark Star has got himself 25 Valks. Okay, I like it. I like seeing an attack that, you know, could potentially be used by others because all these attacks, the bar, you know, no one really could do those other than the pros. But this one, maybe, you know, 25 Valks. Does he have healer puppets? No, okay. I was like, he's only taking two healers, which is typically a sign that he has healer puppets. Because you can add three more when you pop that queen ability. But he does take out not the clan castle. He activates the defensive rage. There was... Nope. The monolith is here. There had to be... What? I don't even... wasn't even really paying attention. There was a multi there. And some other buildings that are obviously now gone. Tesla's did pop up here. This warden is looking to help take out some more. Was there an expo there? I think there was. Um, as the Warden continues his way up and around, did it? He did deploy the Diggy on that Warden. And the Warden Diggy is now gone as he drops a wall break, which goes for the Arch Tower, but doesn't open up this initial wall here. So that is going to be a little bit of an issue in terms of pathing here. As the Log Launcher is down, the King is going to move his way into the enemy Royal Champion. Balloon's trying to pull some traps with the Super Wall Break is going off. Pops the ability going off to the... Ooh, the Raid Spell compartment. The Log Launcher is going to open up the area towards this multi, so the Queen's going to be able to help pick that off. Town Hall goes invisible, so the Log Launcher and the Logs activated the Town Hall from afar because of the Logs damaging uh, the defenses in the area of the Invisibility Spell. As the Valks are being placed around this base... This Queen's continuing through this Clan Castle with the in Skeleton Spell trying to distract that monolith the wall break opens the wall for the tesla but the town hall remains and this is a problem my friends this is a problem how is he gonna take out the town hall because i don't know if the oh the royal champs down here because i it would say the king coming back to life wouldn't be able to do it the rc helps finish it off the rc is gonna have to step into the town hall poison as valks are being deployed slowly around this base rc without the burner ability does have an invis to utilize on the rc here as he can burn the ability before the invisibility spell came back. And he's got the time. Queen does die off. Warden will help finish off that monolith. And Darkstar has got the triple. And they have the one star lead in this match. Selenio is in. And Selenio's got 50. Count them. 50 sneakies. I'm waiting till like someone, one of these pros, brings all sneakies. Like there's no way. <laughs> if... A pro, mark my words, triples with all sneakies, nothing else. And the heroes get some crazy value. He does some skelly dome, whatever it may be. 50 sneaky got or what? No, not even 50. All sneaky goms. What is it? 100? Is that the met? No, because you can take a little bit more because 320. But if someone does that, I will be completely blown away. And it has to be some regular war base, not some troll base. As he makes that invisible to keep this queen continuing her charge with two super wall breaks. He can wall break the multi now. Oh, he's waiting. Once that multi goes down, he can then wall break into the monolith. And drops... No, because this builder hut's here. Unfortunately, the queen's ability is forced. He's saving on the wall breaks. Oh, she's going to go back to the enemy queen here. The defense... His king... Oh, pops the ability. Takes out the single target Inferno. The Warden Eternal Tome is healing up the King as he continues his way through. Sneakies coming through here. The Monolith is going down. Dropping the Skeleton Spell into the enemy road champ. Out comes the Ice Golem Clan Castle to help try to defend. The King dies. Oh, the King's barely alive, though. 
The defensive rage is slowly coming back, raging up his own queen. But the ice golem might be in range of freezing up these healers here when it dies. As his royal champion is trying to get through the enemy royal champ. Yep, the healers did get frozen over there. But it's okay. They're under rage. We'll heal this queen back up. We do have a builder hut to the backside down here. Hopefully he doesn't forget about it. As this RC will have to continue. The queen does not have her ability, but she is raged up taking out this town hall. He's got a minute left. He's got a minute left. Guys, don't be a 99 because of that building. Don't be a 99 because of that building. He's going to have to get through the defensive king, which is going to be a problem. So he freezes it. He's got an RC ability. He could save the RC ability for the Builder Hunt, but it's going to be forced early. 45 seconds left. But the RC will run through and go for it. Because it is a building in the end of, end of the day. With a freeze left, the RC should have plenty of time to make her way back down there. And it should be a three-star. He's already pulled the tornado trap so that won't slow him down the queen's coming as well the warden i think it takes like correct me if i'm wrong but i think it takes like 30 seconds to move from one corner to the other corner so if you have at least that you should be fine stars is up and stars no stars don't do it he's gonna try to one up klaus and say i see you couldn't do it with 100 wall breakers I'll bring 100 wall breakers and 11 bath spells. Clout. No, I, I, I was already thinking about Klaus because of what he did. Starts. Don't do it. 100 wall breakers. 11 bath spells. Stars, you are insane. If this works, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know. I am. What's your, what's your hero gear? Oh my God. Stars, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, with a Warden Walk, he's going to look to help grab this Air Expo here. And then he's got plenty of Wall Breakers to bust through whatever walls he wants. <laughs> but he does have 10 Sneakies. There is an Invisibility spell, which, look at this. There's no storages, so he can easily target the Town Hall like that really fast. So he does have one Earthquake. What is that going to be used for? He's going to have the rest of the Sneakies go for the Town Hall. He's going to rage them up to help take the Town Hall down. Interesting that he didn't go with an Invis. Why did he go Rage? Why did he spend that extra spell slot than an Invis? Was it because of the Builder Huts? Either way, let's see. The King is down. Queen as well. He's plenty of Wall Breakers to use. We have three single target Infernos for this base here. There is a lot of Wall Breaks. Ice Golem's coming out of here. Warden ability protecting this king through the single. And that single target Inferno has really charged his beam all the way to full health to that king. Look at this. He is getting slowed down. So this king giant gauntlet is not really doing much other than now tanking through this whole area to allow the queen to continue her way into the core of this base. I mean, if he doesn't use all these wall breakers at this point, it's just swag space. You could have put whatever. As this queen continues her way through, the invisibility spell has come back. The queen's ability is going to be forced. Drops the giant to the bottom side to distract the wizard tower. There's the bath right on top of that scatter shot to the top side of this base. The multi-archer tower is there. Remember, you got three shots from the multi-archer tower as the monolith does go invisible. But the royal champion is running. She might activate a tornado trap somewhere, and that could be a problem. But he's continuing his way through with these bats. Hopefully the healer... No, 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 no! The worst nightmare. The healers pulled the red air bombs. And now he sends the battle drill. Rip to his healers. But now he's using... Wait. Now he's using the wall breakers as distraction. Wait. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a lot of wall breakers. He's got a lot of wall breakers. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. No, 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 no. The RC's ability has already been forced. He can't do this, right? Oh, but he's out of wall breakers. Oh, man. Imagine he still pulled it off. That was a lot of wall breakers. And now let me tell you this. Klaus couldn't triple with 100 wall breakers. Stars couldn't triple with 100 wall breakers. Can you triple with 100 wall breakers? General X. This is his alternate account called General Y. And he's got two E-Dragons, a, a Dragon Rider, a Super Valk, five bowlers here, 
10 balloons. What is the play here? As this queen's gonna slowly make her way to the town hall. But we have an invis, so he's gonna have to be forced to use a freeze on the invisibility spell tower. And he does just that so the queen can secure the town hall. Down it goes as she's getting distracted on these skellies. No recall, so the queen's just gonna take this all down. Well done. And he's going to go with a skelly donut after the fact. Okay. Oh, but the monolith goes invisible. Oh, rip. But is he able to still take it down? Oh, they're going for it. They're still going for it. They're still going for it. Uh, no. The invisibility spell goes off. And he can't take out the monolith. But he does remove the clan castle with an ice golem down by this enemy RC. Uses his king, Warden. A wall break down here. We've got five bowlers. The Super Valk is moving in. The Super Valk can help rage up this king and anything else into this area. He wall broke, and he's going to be able to get this king to go into the scatter. Pops the Warden Belly to protect these bowlers. There's the jump spell to really push them in towards the core of the space, trying to help protect these bowlers. And when he pops the King Ability with E-Dragons to the far left side to try to get some chains as the Stone Slammer takes out this air defense here. King burns his ability through the core and the splash from the Giant Gauntlet is crushing the middle of the space as the Royal Champion is making her way to the right. But unfortunately, the Invisibility Spell Tower does just come back now. He tries to drop that Ice Golem out in front in time so the Monolith gets distracted on it and it's perfect timing. But these Z-Dragons are trying to continue their way through. The RC. Wait! Oh, wait. I was going to say he made the invisibility spell tower invisible, which means that. Wait, this RC could become invisible again if the timing is right. The timing is right. Yes! The timing is perfect! So she could go for the monolith. She does get targeted. The fox doesn't get targeted, which is okay. She could absorb those shots so that she could continue to move through. Does have the ability. He does have a freeze and an invis. I would invis to help protect the... Yo, the fox goes invisible just perfectly. He can freeze. He can invis. He does. And it's going to work. General X is going to triple with a swag freeze. Which means, my friends, this war comes down to Lexnos to try to win. Can he do it? Well, let's find out. 13 to 10. And he needs to triple. Straight up, three star. Doesn't matter the percent because a 99% two star. And you lose. Lexnos versus Klaus. If Lex triples, he wins. If he doesn't, he loses. And he's bringing 14 root riders and 11 skeleton spells. There is one, two, three single target infernos on Klaus's base. Is the single target Inferno the meta right now? I'm seeing a couple bases now with all singles. Whew. Okay. Lexnos, no pressure. Let's see your abilities here. You got 15 kind of across the board. That's one way to send all the Rue Riders in. Log launchers down as well. We got skeleton spells out in front. A uh, tornado trap. Giant bomb out in front of these root riders. A lava hound comes out. As these root riders will go out in front. More skeleton spells being placed around this base. As the log launcher is looking to completely open up the walls. Even though that's the root rider's job to open up the walls for the troops. As he continues his way through. The queen will eventually get locked onto this lava hound. He is taking out the enemy royal champion with his RC. This pops that warden ability, but these root riders are kind of getting picked off here. The single target Inferno locking on. The king is getting hit here as he tries to make his way towards this town hall. Can he take out that single target Inferno? He does have a couple more skeleton spells. The ricochet cannon is near the single target Inferno as he rages up leading to the town hall. Two more skeleton spells to utilize around the corners. The queen's going to burn the ability. Take that single down. Town hall has been secured. Where's his RC? Is she in the mix of the middle? Yeah, she's right in there. One skeleton spell left, and Mr. Lexnos. It's looking good here to take down Klaus with 14 Root Riders and 11 Skellies. With one skeleton spell left, 
The King is taking some damage as the RC is trying to make her way around with her ability. He could drop this Skelly spell over here to provide that final bit of distraction. Or he's just going to look to swag it. And look at that, my friends. As he can burn the ability of the RC. Finish this one off and... I guess, yeah, you don't need to run single target Infernos because it definitely doesn't stop this attack. That was a lot of Root Riders, a lot of Skeleton Spells, and Lexnos is going to be delivering for his team, taking down Klaus and winning this one. GG to you, Lexnos. 14 Root Riders here, and the final score is 13 to 13 with a percentage of a 95.8 to an 89.6. For the Golden Heart Cup show match. GG.